Do you lose your boner every time you go to put on a goddamn condom? Well, my friend, this video is for you. My name is Sterling Cooper. I'm an award-winning adult film star, former high-class male companion, and I'm here to help you transform your sex life. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you some tips, tactics, and techniques to maintaining your stiffy whilst you're using condoms and in the act of putting condoms on. I get a lot of emails and questions and DMs and comments and messages from guys who say something along the lines of, oh man, when, I, when I, I'm all good until it comes time to put the condom on, and then as soon as I put the condom on, my boner goes away and we can't have sex. And obviously these are the same guys who want to remain health conscious and avoid catching STDs, and they don't want to get their partner pregnant. Cool. So it's time I give you guys some solutions to your problem. Now the first thing I'll say is have condoms close by. Have them like everywhere. And what I mean by this is I'll keep condoms strategically placed like in different drawers and bathrooms and places around the house. So no matter where I start to escalate things with a woman, there's always a condom on hand somewhere. If I don't happen to have, you know, my wallet on me with my condoms in it. So no matter where I am in my apartment, there's a condom somewhere within hand's reach, which I can have quick access to. Because one of the large reasons why your stiffy is probably going away is there's a lot of downtime between physically escalating, being aroused, having a good time, and then, oh, where's the condom? Oh, we can't, I'm going to go back into this. Oh, it's in the drawer in here and... Oh, I'm taking it out. Oh, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna take it out of the packet. And, oh, my Woody's gone. That's the problem. There's a, there's a bit of well, that's one of the problems. There's a delay, right? So let's we need to minimize that time between peak arousal for you, you know, 100% at full mast, and finding a goddamn condom. Now the way I get around this problem, it's really quite simple. The way I the way that I make sure I'm at full mast when I put my condom on, and then when I slime my wiener inside of her is I just get her to suck my dick whilst she is in the act of giving me the, a BJ, right? So if we're making out, getting, getting hot heavy, cool, she starts sucking my dick, that's when I'm pulling the condom out of my pocket, out of my wallet, out of the drawer nearby or whatever, while she's in the act of, of sucking me off, that's when I'm prepping the condom, taking it out of its packet, like flipping it the right way around, get, getting it ready, cool, sit back and enjoy myself for a few minutes. And then when I'm ready, then I'm sliding on whilst it's at full mast and I just bend her over and go at it. There's no downtime between me being physically aroused and getting the condom on. So there's no time for anxiety to kick in and my, my, my boner goes away. Like I'm not able to get, there's not enough time for me to even get in my head and worry about it in the first place, which is probably what's happening for a lot of you guys. So first and foremost, you need to address that idea of performance anxiety. All these things that are fucking with you in your own head, you definitely need to get a handle on that if this is a big problem for you. So I suggest you check out my ebook right here. Now, during the act of sex, obviously condoms don't feel as good as the real thing, an unsheathed, right? So one of the things you can do, and we do this in the adult entertainment industry, a little trick we use when we're filming with condoms. There are a couple of companies that do actually require you to film with condoms, and it's a pain in the ass. Uh, but what we do is we just drop a little bit of lube in the condom on the inside. So when I'm sliding that condom on my dick and when I'm having sex, there's, actually, there's at least some internal lubrication sensation feeling on the inside of the condom that allows me to enjoy myself and, you know, maintain my arousal level. Now, another strategy I like to employ, and I always did this whenever I went out to bars and clubs, I always took at least three condoms with me. Why would I take three condoms with me? I'm not gonna get laid three times, am I? No, it's, it's a real simple strategic move. If I have three condoms on me, let's say I only have one condom on me, actually. If I've only got one condom, and then I start to have sex, if I, you know, because I'm wearing a condom, if I start to lose sensation, it's not, it's not as exciting as it, you know, would be without a condom. Well, well, then what happens? I've only got one condom. I'm done. Like, 
And so that's going to play on my mind. Is oh shit, I better keep. I, I got to keep my boner, otherwise I'm going to be done having sex now because I'm, I'm, I'm my boner's gone away. So by having multiple condoms on hand, that allows you to, you know, have a good time with the first one, whatever. If, if because there's not much enough sensation down there, you pull it off, get yourself back to full mast, or get her to suck you off, or whatever. Get back to full mast, and then you can slip the second one on, and you can keep going at it. So it takes away the anxiety and the pressure around needing that first condom to to be the be all and end all. You know, your performance has to be totally flawless all the way through. It the irony of taking away the pressure means you're more likely to have a flawless performance, a flawless victory. You've got to understand that your your mind can be your own worst enemy at times. So by having these kind of contingencies in place, you actually mind fuck yourself into being more confident and being less anxious in that particular scenario. Now, if you want some more free tips and tricks on keeping your boner up stronger and for longer, then I highly suggest you check out my playlist about that right here.